Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in my this particular video, I am going to discuss one very interesting image processing use case and that is almost connected binary object labeling. Okay, so what is that? So let us see that image first, then I will discuss what we have to do. So CLC, clear all, close all, warning of as a general right. Then here let us first re read the image. So we are having on binary image, I am read. And it is present in my desktop. So here, let me just copy this particular location and paste it here. And in desktop, it is stored as blobs in clumps dot page. Give the proper extension, otherwise it will not work. Okay. So let us just run this particular piece of code and let's see how it looks like. So this is our binary image which we have. Now, if you observe this particular image closely, you can easily understand that there are basically three clusters. One is this particular cluster, one is this cluster, one is this particular cluster, right? Cluster means I want to say that those binary objects are close to each other, like kind of uh, having same locational property like that, okay? Now, suppose you have to label this particular image, okay? So, each and individual binary object you have to label, but the twist is you have to label such that these almost connected binary objects because they are very close so that's why I am telling these as almost connected binary objects should get same level. So these all these binary objects belonging to this cluster should get same level. All these binary objects belonging to another cluster should get same level. All these binary objects belonging to this cluster should get same level. Okay. So what is the algorithm to do labeling as we generally do? So first step is apply the labeling morphological operation. Okay. So let us do that first. So maybe we can write ms equal to pw label of our binary mean. So this particular ms uh, will be have will be such image where each and individual binary object will be having different different levels. Okay. And then what we can do? Then we can display it with label to RGB. So basically ms already contain labels. So each individual level we want to map to RGB distinct distinct color. Okay. So basically that is the function label to RGB of MS. Okay. So let us uh, see that image I am show label to RGB of MS. Okay. Here we can give one new figure window. Right. So let us run this particular piece of code and let's see how the labeling happening. Uh, Label to RGB. What is the problem? Okay, sorry, this is L A B E N. So see, this is how the labeling is happening currently without applying any processing image processing technique. That is what is happening. That uh, as all these binary objects belonging to this cluster are distinct, they are not connected. That's why while applying this particular technique of labeling they all are getting different different colors because MATLAB is considering those as different different islands okay same goes for this particular one that's why it is getting different different color same goes for this particular one but what is the problem statement we have to solve that we have to write such program which will give same label to almost connected binary objects that is all these binary objects should get same color all these binary objects should get same color all these binary objects should get same color. So what we can do? Obviously, you can understand that is uh, we can simply apply dilation technique and then basically connect all these binary objects which are belonging to one single single cluster. So basically what we want, we can connect and then we can apply labeling and apply some uh, logical operation to get the proper levels. Yes, that is the one way that using dilation and connecting all of them. But I am going to discuss one another approach that is using distance transformation. So already in my previous video, I have discussed about distance transformation and you can understand from the problem statement that our central part of this particular problem is distance. As the distance is less in between these binary objects, so they should be getting same level. Okay, that, that's what the problem, right? So let's apply distance transformation and let's see that how the distance transformed 
image looks like maybe if we apply some little bit image processing on that distance transformed image we can basically give the same level for this almost connected objects right so as the distance is uh, the major factor in this whole uh, problem statement so let us apply that function okay so basically let us first apply distance transformation let us let me figure and then here uh, let us apply our uh, distance transformation function that is x equal to b w b i s t of our original image b w okay and then here i am show so to display the image always it is better that you convert this image to unsigned integer 8 bit representation otherwise what will happen it is by default in double format after uh, computing bw disk but generally we display the image in terms of unsigned integer 8 bit representation that's why i am converting so this particular one also i have discussed in my previous video right so now let's run this particular piece of code and let's see how the distance transformed image looks like so see that our distance transformed image looks like this this one is our distance transform image and it is quite understandable intuitively that why the image looks like this so what the distance transformation image uh, generally looks that if any dark pixel is far away from white pixel those will be having higher values and if any dark pixels are close to white uh, pixels that time those will be having lower values so if you see that at the middle part whatever dark pixels are present they are actually far away from this particular cluster or this particular cluster or this particular cluster right that's why here we are getting bright part okay but if you consider any cluster region as here whatever dark pixels are present they are very close to this binary object that's why here we are getting dark values right and now if you see this particular distance transformed image it has actually made our problem very easy so see already it has segmented out one cluster second cluster third cluster maybe we can do little bit thresholding and we can basically segment it out okay so let me do that let me first give im pixel info to understand the proper threshold value so basically this one we need to make one cluster this one as another segment and this one as another segment so if we just move our mouse pointer and check uh, keep an eye on this particular intensity level we can see that 0 okay 12 15 like that here also 9 0 like that here also 1 2 0 like that okay so what we can do maybe let us choose our threshold value as near to 10 or 12 like that okay so threshold d h r e s h o l d threshold image equal to uh, so x values so what we need to do we need to basically make this particular segmented dark color regions white part that's what will be considered as one segment this particular part will be considered as one segment so we are basically going to threshold based on all those uh, basically we want to make all those pixels as white pixels which is having lesser values right so like as we have chosen the threshold value as 10 to 12 like that let me choose 12 and uh, we want to basically make all those pixels white which is having lesser values that is less than 12 okay and then here we can give figure and then here we can give i am show here we can give threshold image okay control v so if i just run this particular piece of code let us see how it will look like with thresholded image so this is our thresholded image which looks pretty good right so if you see our original image which is this is our original image this particular part is making one segment this particular whole region is making another segment and this particular uh, basically uh, region this clumps part is making another segment okay now what we can do we can maybe apply our label to rgb on this particular thresholded image but before that we have to uh, give labels right so a equal to bw label of our this thresholded image okay once we keep labeling what will happen in all these distinct distinct clumps this clump will be getting one level this clump will be getting another level and this clump will be getting another level so what we can do we can uh, display that using rgb color values so label to rgb conversion we have to do using label to rgb function 
so m is equal to label to rgb of our a okay then here let me give figure and then here i am show ms okay let us see that how the label to rgb image looks like after conversion so see this is how our label to rgb image looks like so slowly by slowly we are going towards our destination that is almost connected binary objects now having same labels but this is not the proper structure right our proper structure image is this one so what we need to do we need to convert this particular rgb image to this one but keeping labels intact so simple just we have to apply logical operation maybe logical and we can do with this rgb and this binary mask so consider this as binary mask consider this as rgb image apply uh, masking that's what what we generally do so let me do that so maybe output image led channel equal to ms is the rgb image after doing label to rgb so all the x coordinates and y coordinates we want to keep and the red channel i am extracting then i am multiplying with the mask here our mask is our original image that is bw but bw is a binary image and ms when you are taking extracting that red channel that is a gray scale so uh, that is unsigned integer 8 bit representation so to uh, multiply we, we should have same labels okay and that is same uh, very uh, same uh, what can i say like if if this is unsigned integer 8 bit representation it should be also unsigned integer 8 bit representation it should not be different unit like unsigned integer 8 bit and uh, logical cannot mul be multiplied that's why i am just type casting to unsigned integer 8 bit representation similarly the same thing we have to do for green channel and blue channel okay so green channel is the second one and blue channel is the third one okay just i have to write b okay right and then once this is done we have to accumulate all of them so concatenate uh, three concatenations so first one is our red channel second one is our green channel and third one is our blue channel okay right now here let us give one figure and here i am show out okay right so let us just run this particular piece of code and let's see whether almost connected binary objects belonging to individual clusters getting same labels or not and yes we got this if you see let me close unnecessary components see this is our original input image where the problem statement is we have to give all same label to the almost connected binary objects and we have achieved the same okay exact same thing we have got and the central idea is as the distance in between these clusters cluster elements are less so let's apply bw dist function which is which plays with distance and then check what else we can do so like this you have to proceed with some unknown image processing problem statement so i hope you have enjoyed this this particular code i'll be posting in the description box or in the comment section if you want you can go through that if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my latest videos thank you